Good. I, I think the WIA made a good decision in allowing uh, video review during competition. I think the technology was available to everyone so that it didn't offer any kind of competitive advantage. And uh, what it allowed people to do was to uh, give their athletes better information about how to perform better. I feel like it kind of works at your advantage. Like, um, it sees like what you need to improve on, what you did good on, and I think it's just a great tool to use. Like, I know they, um, it was outlawed, but now they brought it back, and I think it really improves everyone's throwing distances by a lot. Kennedy hardly ever, like, watches any video of herself. So I'm always looking at a video, and then I'll tell her what I'm seeing, and then she tries to make the correction. Um, so even if you show video, video or not, or if you just talk to them, they still got to be able to make those tweaks on their own. And, and uh, I think sometimes it's better to show a junior and senior the video than a freshman, sophomore, because they're still learning about how their body operates in space, and, and sometimes uh, it just doesn't click. And, but but for everybody's different. Some people want to see how they're doing, and some people don't want to see it at all. We're able to slow things down, and especially for the more advanced athletes, really fine-tune thing, the little things that they're doing wrong. And that gives them an advantage for the next time they throw, they can make those um, changes. Completely new to us this year, so of course it's completely new to Alyssa since she wasn't allowed to do it when she was a thrower. So she's always like, modern technology these days, it really helps out. And it does help out, like it helps the distances tremendously and it shows too.